guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for Sorgatron.com on this April 15th, Tax Day 2015. Arunar Scheister is looking for you. I'm sorry, that's for wrestling fans. Um, but anyways, uh, today I uh, wanted to, uh, you know, we like talking about social media uh, around here. It's a lot of talking shop. And I actually ran into, again, I, I mentioned I'm getting some great feedback from you guys. Some of you guys dropping in on the Periscope and the Miracats uh, talking with me here during the mornings. And uh, getting me going, and uh, and of course, just out and about. Just I, I, I'm always. It, 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 this is me. Uh, I, I mentioned how I'm always surprised when I run into somebody in the physical meat space, and uh, they say, uh, "Oh, I yeah, I've been listening to your show." Well, first I say, "Well, which one?" You know, because um, I have a lot. I do, I I can't stop. Um, I'm actually kind of pitching two podcasts as it is right now, uh, on top of everything. Um, and a new show, but that one's for a client, actually. The rest are just for fun. Um, but anyways, uh, so uh, one of them was uh, Dan Hooven, uh, and he, he said, "Hey, I listen to your show. You know, I like that you're talking what you're talking about on here, and uh, it, just for fun, you know, I, since I know there's people out there, I put that out there. I was like, hey, you know, what do you guys want me to talk about this week? Because um, I do worry about maybe just talking about the same topic over and over again, and uh, sometimes it is hard to come up with something every day. Uh, but again, just like a little bit of feedback. What, what what's interesting? Which way do we want to go with this? And apparently, the social media is is what most want to see. Uh, but Daniel, who, who is who is Daniel? Front follow at Daniel Hooven on the Twitters. Um, uh, he's also, I believe, the same thing on Instagram. Or follow IWC Wrestling on Twitter, under IWC underscore wrestling on Instagram especially. He does the photography for the International Wrestling Cartel, who I do the, I do video for, um, and the DVDs and, and online distribution, all that kind of stuff. And uh, this is really up the game and visual visual na- visualization of the brand. I wish my video looked as good as his photography when it comes to this. Um, you know, great. I'm not even doing HD because our target was DVDs and, and, and it's indie wrestling. And there's not much money to upgrade the, the rig to HD at this point. Um, but that's something I hope that's coming very, very soon. I have some options, but, uh, he, he, uh, tweeted back. He's like, I'll, I always like a good talk about online and social brand voices. Well, when you talk about voices, when you talk about your brand, at least, um, oh, I feel, oh, I'm one of those guys now oh, talking about social brand. Uh, but it is important. It is important. Um, I mean, that's why I'm, you know, well, when I talk about social brand uh, and I talk about it's important and I enjoy doing I enjoy doing this. You know, I I don't know if it's getting in front of the microphone, a little bit of narcissism on my my part. But I like talking with people. I like getting my thoughts out there and, and having people respond and having a conversation. Um, and I think I think that's where these kind of people thrive. You know, I follow Gary Vaynerchuk, and he's basically talking about what he believes in. I don't agree with all of it, but a lot of it I do glom off of. I do get ideas off of. You'll, you'll hear me reiterating a lot of concepts, you know, uh, probably passively here that I don't realize I just reiterated from something I watched on a video two days ago from him. But but I I, I align with the philosophy in a lot of ways for online and work ethic I wish I had uh, and strive to as much as I can. Um, but, uh, but there's a guy right there that's, that's telling a story that's, that's conveying what's going on with the, this wrestling promotion, uh, through his medium, through Instagram. You know, we talked about, uh, in the newsletter this week about picking a social network. And right now Facebook is where everybody's conversing, but it's a very visual medium when it comes to professional wrestling, and he is killing it by manning the IWC Wrestling uh, Instagram over there. Now, when you talk about voices, you're talking about branding. We had a good conversation last night. Chris LaRusso, he's a professional wrestler from the Pittsburgh area, and uh, he is actually having a pretty good uh, uh, coming up in the ranks here. He's uh, had some spots working with Ring of Honor, which is probably solidly at least the number three, if not the number two promotion in the nation right now. Uh, under WWE, of course, but he got some time on TV, and he talks about maximizing that, and he talks about, you know, uh, we talked about other people that know how to do that and and, and have this image, you know, in, in pro wrestling, um, and I talked to them a lo- little bit of this after the show, maybe during, I can't remember, it was a late night, uh, about, you know, especially pro wrestlers, 
their they are their brand. They have to also be the business. They have the business manager. They have to be the image person. Um, everything around that, right? Uh, and when you're working on something like me, I'm trying to you know say, hey, you know, we want to work on these projects. We want to do these creative things. I'm the brand in that case. Um, you know. If you're an artist of some sort, even if you're looking for a job, you're the brand, you know, uh, that you're trying to get out there as you're trying to put resumes out. And that's something that's a consistent thing. Uh, and what's your voice? Uh, you know, he's talking about brand voices. Um, what, again, what does it believe in? I, and I know it's kind of easier, I would hope, to push yourself as a brand because you're like, well, what do I believe in? Bum, 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 bum. What am I passionate about? Bum, 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 bum. Let's talk about these things. Or maybe you want to X one thing out. Maybe I don't want to talk about pro wrestling on my Twitter account. I try to lighten it a little bit um, because I'm afraid that will turn off some people to what I'm saying. But again, and again, it's a perfect example that I can bring up over and over again. Um, and maybe I shuffle that over to my Mayhem Show account, and that's where I have that voice about pro wrestling. And I allow myself to swear. Uh, that's the other thing. You, sometimes you'll see a random thing that's just a little bit of swearing, has nothing to do with pro wrestling on the Mayhem Show account. That's me filtering out. <laughs> say, I gotta say this somewhere. Um, and I think that's important to, to, to have that. And you talk about your voice. What does your voice sound like? Do you, Are you a person that says, I don't want somebody to see me saying the F word on the internet, you know, um, cause I want to be a person that they know is going to be clean. They know is not going to have this, you know, versus a Gary, Gary Vaynerchuk. He'll say the F word a bunch of times. I can't, I think that I have done that on here and I try not to on every show except the wrestling show. That is the open, that's the opening I give myself to let, that's my always been a little bit of an outlet and it's been the most successful of outlets, um, because of it, I feel. And uh, in, when we're talking about voice, um, now you filter that over to a brand. Um, I I deal with a couple of clients, and again, kind of figure out what their story is, um, and, and and that's the biggest thing. I, I try to figure out what the vibe is, and uh, in the case of the one group, it's like okay, I here i've been at the meetings i know kind of what they believe in what the philosophy is of this place how do we convey it because they got a great thing and a great community of people that work there and are helping people and how do we convey those beliefs and and those people to a different medium like a twitter like a facebook and uh and and creating a brand around that i guess um so for seclair my client in question and, and again i only i can only be so efficient with it because it, you know i i and, and depending on your situation maybe you only have x access to your client if you're working with somebody um but the best case scenario if you're if somebody that's ingrained with the product if you're the person that works at that nonprofit every day you know what's going on. You know what's important to that nonprofit. And you can send out a tweet. Down, da, da, da. Something's happening today. Really good thing. We got this grant. Da, 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 da. You know, this big thing. We got a lot of canned food. You know, uh, you, like you can be excited. And I think that's what people miss um, when you're talking about your voice online that authenticity. It's probably hard if you're a law firm to be really excited about law things, you know, and convey that, but or being informative. But I think that's what people are looking for, that there's a real person on the other end, you know. Um, and the bigger you are, the harder it's going to be. If uh, go look up uh, a hashtag insect bug head from our insect head, I believe, from my friend at DJ Lunchbox, he's got a little bit of a saga going on there you can follow along with that i won't discuss you with the details in case you're eating breakfast right now with me but kellogg's is not responding to them after a day of getting a lot of people using this hashtag and their at, at replies and uh there's no human on the other side do you have to outline what you believe in if it's just you if you're dan hooven the photographer if you're you're mike sorg the I don't even know what to call myself anymore. Entrepreneur? Am I allowed to call myself that yet? I, I, I feel weird and dirty or not privileged enough to say that. <laughs> um, I don't have to put successful in front of it, I guess. 
Um, it's what I believe in. I talk about social media. I talk about geeky things. I talk about the things I'm doing. Video. Stuff like this. That's my voice. And some people are talking back. It's like Dan. Like Nero here. On the Periscope. Um, so let me know what you think. Uh, have you found your voice? Are you? Do you have any questions about how do I find my voice? What if, what if my voice sucks? <laughs> I could go along with your video challenge for this week we talked about yesterday. Uh, but it's important to have it. Um, remember, check out my uh, video challenge from Tuesday. I actually already got a response from Gabriel out there who's been writing into the Wrestling Mayhem show. He put a video up on Facebook for me, and we've been discussing about it. You know, little things like, hey, man, you know, and we and actually started discussing a little bit of which way am I holding this camera? This is This is all right. Here we go. This is all right if I'm doing my Periscope, and everybody ideally is looking at on a phone vertically but if you're going to be putting this thing on facebook or somewhere else somebody might go full screen just turn that phone this way just a little bit that way and uh it's been very handy one of the many important discussions that we've been having over there uh but no uh, go check out the video challenge let's let me know that uh, your thoughts on this conversation at sorgatron on the twitter and of course comments too if you found this on video audio on sorgatron.com youtube or wherever else this might pop up that you discovered us and we'll see you guys next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.